When I was a kid, I used to love experimenting with baking. I tried all sorts of recipes. One in particular was very difficult. I needed to heat sugar to a very particular temperature. The end result was that I set it on fire. But I learnt a really important lesson, which was the value of clear instructions. This was one of those childhood memories that came rushing back to me when I heard about a horrific incident with a medical device. David, a physician, thought he had deciphered a cryptic error message on the Thorac 25, which was a computer-controlled radiation therapy machine. Unfortunately, instead of a chance at recovery, Emily received a lethal dose of radiation and she lost her life. And so did two others just like her. This is one of those tragedies that begs the question, what can we possibly do to avoid mistakes like this happening? Products and their instructions far too often are designed without keeping the humans who will use and read them in mind. The Thorac 25 was designed to treat cancer patients, but it had a fatal flaw in its usability. Its error messages were cryptic. From very early on in my career, I've been designing medical devices. And I was always so focused on the technology. I had completely forgotten about the people who actually use these products. Soon enough, it came time for me to give one of the devices I'd been working on to a nurse, to an actual user. And like all nurses, she was super busy. Her pager was going off. She was probably eight hours into a 12-hour shift and she was struggling to operate the device. She didn't have the time or the desire to troubleshoot it. And it was in that moment, I just felt guilty. I had let her down. But more than that, I'd let her patients down. And this is a classic example of a lack of empathy and usability in medical devices, let alone how important it is that those two things actually intersect. Empathy means understanding and addressing the needs, the challenges, the emotions of those nurses and of people like those nurses who use medical products. Really putting ourselves in their shoes. And it doesn't have to be complicated. It's just about asking questions and then listening, actively listening to those nurses, those doctors, caregivers, patients understanding what it means to them. I was talking to Nana Beryl about her diabetes. She wasn't monitoring her blood sugar. She hadn't even opened up her blood glucose monitor. She bought it six months ago and it was still neatly sitting in its box with the instructions folded inside. So I decided I need to listen to Nana Beryl. And I did that. And we went out and we found a new blood glucose monitor for her. And this time, it was a lot easier for her to hold with her arthritis. It was a lot easier for her to see on the screen, the font, because it was a lot bigger. And the instructions weren't packed with tiny text. They were full of pictures. So she could actually figure out how to use it, which meant she checked her blood sugar regularly. Her health improved. Her quality of life improved. You see, in healthcare, empathy isn't a nice to have. It's a must have. Only when we deeply understand the needs of users of nanobarrels can we actually design something that addresses those needs. Now, usability is the measure of how safely and how well a product can be used to achieve a specific goal by specific people. In medical devices, good usability is a non negotiable. In fact, all around the world, we have regulatory bodies that act as gatekeepers for any new medical device entering the market. In the US, that's the FDA. And in 2023, the FDA received 780 submissions for new medical devices. Do you know how many of those they got approved? 10%. Of the 90% that got rejected, 
Half of those were because the FDA were not convinced that they had good usability. That's a huge number. I once visited a hospital where they'd rolled out a new patient monitoring system. I looked at these screens and they were full of data. I, I didn't even know where to look. They were really clunky, really small text. You couldn't really see what was going on. There was alarms going off everywhere. And I had one of the nurses confide in me and she said, I'm actually terrified I'm gonna miss a critical piece of information for my patient at the moment that they might need it the most. So I listened actively. And I translated what I heard from those nurses into a new patient monitoring system. Much simpler screens, I stripped back a lot of the data and I put an intuitive colour coding system so they could glance at the screen and know whether or not they needed to do something. The look on the nurses' faces was relief. They were relieved. It was pretty special. Not only that, they could then provide better care for their patients. Because when usability is prioritised, it directly impacts patient safety. Simpler screens, non-cryptic error messages, these things prevent mistakes. But when you combine empathy and usability, that's when it's magic. I worked on a small monitor for people with a genetic disorder. I spent hours upon hours just listening to these people what their life was like living with a condition like this, what they looked forward to, what they dreaded. One patient, Sarah, she told me she feels like a pin cushion from the number of times she has to prick her finger to get a blood sample to send off to the lab just to wait two weeks to get the results. So what did I do? I listened. I asked a couple of questions. And my team and I, we redesigned a monitor that required less blood less often, and patients could get the result within 15 minutes sitting on their couch. The best thing, though, was giving one of these devices to Sarah. Do you know what she said? She said, I can finally live my life more normally. The impact of combining usability and empathy goes way beyond individual devices. It has the power to transform healthcare. Intuitive safe devices, they allow providers to do what they do best, to provide care. And they also allow patients to be more engaged in their own health, which improves their outcome. That's a win-win-win. Empathy and usability are not just design principles. They are lifelines that we can all access. We can all create a future where technology isn't just advanced, but it is radically empathetic. In other words, it's usable. Because we asked questions. Simply because we asked questions and chose to care. We can all improve patient outcomes, our outcomes, and we can all help build a far more compassionate world of healthcare. Thank you.